I see. So if there's leftovers, we can keep them in the fridge. But we're cooking for two today. There probably won't be leftovers. Oh, I forgot to mention, but I'm making katsudon. Make sure to eat it all, no matter how it tastes. I said I'd thank you, didn't I? If you don't want it, I could put the meat away. But that's a pain, so just eat it. Make sure to eat it all, no matter how it tastes. You got guts saying that. Well, I'm making this to thank you. So I'm not gonna give you something terrible. Make sure to eat it all, no matter how it tastes. I said I'd thank you. This place ain't equipped to make that. I want something with rice, so we're having katsu done today. Got it? All right then, time to get started. The rice is already cooked, so just scoop everything into a bowl once it's ready. I like extra large portions, by the way. Looks like you're a fan, huh? Anyone can make this, as long as they practice. Today we just had the rice and toppings. But you could add side dishes too. Well, give it a try when you have time. Alright, I did my part to thank you. You handle the cleanup. See you around. We're having katsu done again, got it? Don't give me that look. We got a lot of pork, cause it was cheap. Part of me thinks starting with fried food might be hard. But the basics are pretty much the same. You're a real oddball, you know that? Asking me to teach you how to cook. Why do you want to learn so much? You do, huh? Well, good a reason as any. Why do you want to learn so much? You don't really think things through, do you? Well, whatever. It can't hurt to know. Why do you want to learn so much? Well, we all got our own reasons. It can't hurt to know this stuff. But you better put in the work if you want to be popular. I was taught how to cook by someone else too. So, when I see someone who wants to learn, I can kind of relate. All right. That's enough rambling. Let's get started. You're gonna do it this time. So first, get the meat ready. When you're frying something, stick a chopstick in the oil and check for little bubbles. Wait, you're putting on too much heat. The meat ain't gonna taste good if it's too tough. Pretty good job, considering it was your first try. You've still got room for improvement though, especially in the way you handle the knife and fryer. But if you're serious about it, then just practice. Alright, let's clean up. You ain't done cooking until everything's put away. So don't slack off. Today, we're using that to make tempera bowls. Go ahead and take out what's in the box. Getting these delivered is a royal pain in the ass. So I went and got them just now. I'm gonna get the other stuff ready. You focus on prepping those guys. Yeah, it's all you. I'll handle the first one. So pay attention and just do the same. I'm gonna get the other stuff ready. You focus on prepping those guys. Sorry. But I gotta work on the fish and other parts. I'll do the first one and then you do the rest. I'm gonna get the other stuff ready. You focus on prepping those guys. Don't get squeamish on me. I'll do the first one and then you do the rest. First, put it on its back. Then you work the knife into the edge of the shell.
The taste is pretty good. Although I guess we did use good shrimp. You've gotten a lot better too. I'm more comfortable with the knife and fryer now. All you gotta do now is keep practicing, get the basics down, and just find the right way to cook the stuff you have. That's how I was taught. <laughs> More like a stubborn old man. A long time ago, I used to work part-time at a restaurant. The manager drilled me on how to cook. He gave me so much shit back then, but... When I think back on it now, it wasn't really a bad experience. He always used to say, learning to cook is the first step to supporting yourself. But not only that, if I didn't know how to do it myself, I wouldn't be teaching you like I am right now. I ain't gonna teach you every little thing. I can at least be here to show you how it's done. It gives me something to do, too. Oh, right. Let's eat up and then put everything away. You can head back to your room once you're finished. I'll handle the cleanup. I'm gonna give some to Korra Cha- Hey, I gotta make Koromaru's dinner still. <laughs> you got a problem? <laughs>